Well, good morning, everybody. Renee here from the home office. How are you holding up? Listen to this stat that I saw the other day. Every single day, you get 128 texts, and that equals major distraction, 5,000 ads, and all those ads are designed to make you feel tension between your life and this idealized life in the ad, make you want what the ad is about, so that equals dissatisfaction, and you and I know we get a ton of bad news, and that equals depression. I heard an interesting quote from a guy named Dr. Graham Davey. He's an expert on media exposure and what it does to our mental state. He says media exposure can exacerbate or contribute to the development of stress, anxiety, depression, and even PTSD. So when you put that together with the fact that we get all of this media input every single day, what happens is so many of us, if we are not very mindful about our input are just getting constant input that makes us discontent, dissatisfied, depressed. So what is the answer? You hear people talking a lot about mindfulness these days, especially here in Santa Cruz. How about living in mindfulness, conscious mindfulness of God's constant goodness to you? Here's what happens when we do not remind ourselves that God is good. There's three pretty bad results from not living in that mindfulness. Number one, I lose a sense of wonder, wonder at a child's smile or a bird song or the ocean crashing or the wind rustling through grass. I, I just stop noticing that. And, and secondly, I stop asking God for help because I figure, well, God's not good and so he doesn't care about my problems. And then third, I become pessimistic about the future. I just think, I think the future is probably going to be super super bad. So what is the cure? Again, living in mindfulness of the goodness of God. And I think the best verse in the whole Bible to go to for that is Psalm 23, verse 6, which says, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And then I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, all the days of your life including these strange days that we're living in, including this day, today, the goodness of God and the mercy of God are going to follow you. And the verb used there in the Hebrew, I have heard it said, is the same verb used for to pursue or to chase down like a, a warrior chasing down his opponent. But in this case, it's something good. The goodness of God and the mercy of God is going to pursue you today. So anticipate it, expect it, live in mindfulness of the goodness of God to you. And then you will want to go to him with your requests. And then you will not be pessimistic about the future. Today, look around for ways God is being good to you and merciful to you. You do that and I guarantee you are going to qualitatively, experientially have a better day. God bless.